In the previous unit, students explored exponential expressions and functions. In Unit 6, students will work with polynomials. Prior to engaging in Unit 6, students will need to be able to Simplify expressions with exponents Simplify expressions using the distributive property Find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers In this unit, students will work with polynomials. They will Add Subtract Multiply and divide polynomials of degree 1 and degree 2. Rewrite polynomial expressions using the distributive property. Factor trinomials in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, including perfect square trinomials of degree 2 and factor binomials that are the difference of two squares. Let's take a look at the vertical alignment for 10a in extending operations to polynomial expressions and complex numbers to see the progression of skills starting in 5th grade. In 5th grade, students applied their knowledge to the four basic operations to solve problems. In 7th grade, that expanded to solving problems, including the full range of rational numbers, both positive and negative. In Algebra 1, students will learn to add and subtract polynomials. This will be done with polynomials of degree 1 and 2. Now we can dive into the vertical alignment for 10b, c, and d in extending operations to polynomial expressions and complex numbers. Students learned to multiply with fluency in 5th grade. This started with multiplication of a three-digit number by a two-digit number using the standard algorithm. It continued with multiplication of decimals, including money, and multiplication of fractions by a whole number. Multiplication was done with a variety of strategies and models, such as understanding place value, properties of operations, and area models. In 6th grade, students expanded their previous knowledge into multiplying and dividing positive rational numbers. They also learned how multiplication by a fraction either increases or decreases a quantity, depending on whether that fraction is smaller or larger than 1. Problems with the four operations became increasingly complex in 7th grade, as students learned to add subtract, divide, and multiply all rational numbers to solve problems. This background culminates in students learning how to multiply and divide polynomials in Algebra 1. At this level, this is confined to polynomials of degree 1 or 2. This background is also important for Algebra 2, where students will not only add, subtract, multiply, and divide more general polynomials, but also complex numbers and expressions with exponents. Lastly, in Unit 6, we have standards 10E and F, though we also touch once more on 10D. Let's look at the vertical alignment of these standards, once again starting in 5th grade. Students began in 5th grade to see parentheses and brackets in basic numeric expressions and simplify them. Then, students simplified more complex numerical expressions using the order of operations in 6th grade. They also learned to use exponents with prime factorization to generate equivalent expressions. In Algebra 1, Students apply their skill with numerical expressions to polynomial expressions. In addition to using the distributive property to rewrite equations, students learn to factor trinomials as well as the difference of two squares. Facility with factoring and other rewriting of polynomial expressions will be important in Algebra 2, as students will be asked to factor more complex polynomials. 
As you move through this unit and find students who have gaps in their understanding of the prerequisite skills, consider using these resources available in the OpenStax Pre-Algebra book.